Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, what week is it for? This is, oh yes. <laughs> we actually in week 13. <laughs> We're in week 13. Yes. This is week 13. I'm so excited, guys, that you're all here joining us on um, the, take the Takeout out with Ke- uh, Pastor Angie and... Kev the Rev. I know, it's usually the other way around. I know. But I actually <laughs> love um, being here. It's actually week 13. It's, yes. It's like a long time. Eh? Yeah. If, well, if this was a pregnancy, you'd be over the first trimester. I, <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so funny because I'm so excited because it means we're getting into the meat, we're getting into the chunk Come of on. just enjoying God's word and being with him. True. And so I'm excited about this week and what God is going to say. Yes, so last week we started off on the book of Luke. That's right. And it's so amazing. Of course, Duke, uh, Luke is a doctor and so he's a, a little bit more detailed mm. uh, in how he writes. He's trying to present Jesus as a, as a son of man who has authority. Yes. Uh, and so there's a lot of questions when people asking who has given you this authority yes. to do this and that. Yes. And so, and you know, Jesus sort of is is working on the authority of the Father as uh, that the he Son. Has given him, yeah. uh, and so, it's an amazing book. I'm looking forward to it. This week we're in chapter five. Mm. Uh, one of the f- uh, things that Jesus does there is not to start performing miracles. He does, and he heals this leper man with lep full. Full of, of leprosy. leprosy. That's right. Full of <laughs> leprosy. <laughs> and when he heals him, he tells him something very interesting. He, in verse 14 of chapter um, mm. chapter 5, he says, uh, don't tell anyone, but go show yourself to the priest and offer the sacrifices mm. Moses commanded for your cleansing as a testimony to them. Now, this the, the, the priest had uh, a law or the you know the, the order mm. uh, on how to cleanse someone who's been healed Before, of leprosy. Yeah. But no one has been healed of leprosy For since the Old time. Testament. Imagine. The only guy that you know who was healed, Nuko Naman, who after he was healed, the guy bounced. Yeah, 400 <laughs> years more than Yes. That. Yeah. So no one has been healed of leprosy, but they have this law. Mm-hmm. And they're like, why did God give us this law? Mm-hmm. And no one has ever come oh, back wow. to tell us I'm healed. And so all of a sudden, a, le- a leper comes and says, dust off the books. Mm. There's a new prophet There's in new town. Prophet. Oh, oh, come on. I love it. I know. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's a, it's a testimony to them mm. that they may know that there's something new. Something there's, is happening. There's something new. There's someone, uh, uh, you know, something something is cooking uh, in that way. Because I truly believe that Jesus comes not just for the lost in that way, but also for the ones who are lost in the faith. Mm. The problems that the people who are lost in the faith, the Pharisees, the priests, the Sadducees, all those guys, they don't get to recognize him for who he was. Mm. But he still sort of is wanting them he's in. He's not them. Yes. He's desiring them in. And so he's against their theology. He's not against them as a mm. person in terms of mm. them belonging to compassion. the faith. Compassion. In fact, yes, what compassion. I love about this, this, you immediately begin to see the compassion of Come God. On. You immediately begin to see that Jesus, when he says, I'm willing, mm. he immediately just shows his compassion Come for on. everyone. True. Yeah. True. Even for the priests. Yes, even for them, even for these guys. Again, he 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 sees a man who's been paralyzed for a while. Uh he you know asks him to get up your mat and walk. Um and again the guys are like, you know, who mm. you who has given you this authority because they know when you see someone acting with authority is because they've been given that authority mm. from somewhere else. Yeah. We are, you, there's always where the authority is Has coming from. from. Yeah. And the best thing you can do is to walk, is to be a man under authority. authority. Uh, under the authority of God the Father, first of all. And then the authority of the people that God gives us um, as his people uh, here. And then that authority, there's some you act under. It, there's a covering mm. that you put yourself under. Um, and so anyway, where do you get this authority from? And so Jesus is like, which one is easier? Mm. To tell someone, take up your mat and walk. walk. Or to tell someone, your sins are forgiven. But then he says, but you may know that the Son of Man has authority over sins. Now, both of those statements actually require divine power. Yeah. But one of them is harder. Uh, Your sins are forgiven is harder because if I forgive Mm. sins, it means I take the repercussion of that sin. And so Jesus is saying, I'll have to die for the sin I've forgiven. Exactly. Oh, come on. Yeah. I'll have to die for the sins I've forgiven. And so that happens. But now chapter 6 is where it, it gets cooking. It gets down. I love uh, it. It gets down there. We see some of the key relationships that Jesus uh, 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 you know, spent time on. And that's a theme throughout mm. the gospel. Um, when you go to chapter 16, uh, verse, uh, verse 12, mm. the Bible says, One of those days Jesus went out to a mountain, mountainside to pray and spent the night praying to God. What a shock! Mm. Spent the entire night. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know I struggle with my one now in the morning. I know, right? <laughs> to spend the entire, entire day, the entire night rather. He first he spent the day doing ministry, yes. then he spent the ni- entire night in prayer. The entire night in prayer. And and I think it shows us his first love. Mm. It shows us his intimacy with God. It, it shows us that even if I gain the entire world and lose this part, it's not worth it. It doesn't make sense. This is key for me. This is what I want to do. Um, you know, I want the Father, I want to know the Father's heart. And so he spends the entire night in prayer. We call that part of the relationship the up relationship. Do you have an up relationship? Uh, Is your relationship with God there? Do you have intimacy with the Almighty? Is it fired up? Uh, Are you looking for time to be able to spend time in that place uh, with the Father? But then he doesn't always spend the entire time at the mountaintop. He always now comes comes down. And the Bible tells us this. In verse 13 it says, And he came down and called his disciples and chose them, from them, the 12 whom he named. Mm. Uh, and then so what I love about that is that the whole point of the gospel, I think, is for us to also pattern our lives like mm. Jesus, who we are following. Come on. And so we look at his life and we see what are the patterns that we can get mm. that our lives can, um, uh, what's it called, we can use as a pattern for yes. our own lives. Yes. And so the fact that he spent time with the Father, then he spent time with his 12, whom he had chosen. Mm. And so I, I like this because it's different from um, the other rabbis. It's different from how the world works, let's say. It's that this leader chose the 12 that mm. he will pour himself uh, to. Yeah. And I think that if that's you, because it's saying that Angela, uh, Papa Kilo, you know, Quentin, everyone needs to say, who are my 12 mm. that I'm going to pour myself Because he had their names. He had their names. Mm. And so he chose them. Because many people will follow you, your fans, you have fans, or you have friends. But he, says, but he had 12 that he pulled aside and said, these, I'm going to pour myself to them. Yeah. And so he, he chose him, these guys and then he'd spend time. I mean, the rest of the book is him spending time with them pouring uh, into them, explaining stories, eating mm. with, I love Jesus because he spent so much time eating. I know. He, he spent time eating with these boys, talking with these boys, and all that was just him explaining what he has learned from his father. I love it. And it was easy for them, for their lives to be like Christ. Yes. Because even when you see Peter, many miracles happened when they said they were on the way to the temple mm. to pray. If you yes. look at Acts, yes. they also spent a lot of time in oh, prayer. Yes. After Jesus is taking, they realize that the secret is the that place of prayer. Yes. And so as they go to pray, or they're in the yeah. temple, or they're yes. in this place, the miracles are exactly. there as well. Wow. They were mimicking their life. So invest in you in relationships. So if you're not in a DG, you're not in a small group, say, can I be part of a DG? Can I be part of a small group? Of a serving team of a, as and well. And then also see yourself, begin to see yourself as someone who will pour themselves into somebody else. Come on. You may be a member in a DG group, but see, the ultimate goal is that I will pattern my life like that of Christ. Wow. And so I will find my 12. Mm. Yeah, I will find the people that God will give me so that I can pour my life into them. I love that. Yeah. And so Jesus spends time with the Father on yes. the mountain comes down, yeah. spend time with the disciples. Yeah. And then the, the story doesn't end there because yeah. now together with the disciples, the Bible says in verse 17, he went down with them, stood in a level uh, place. A large crowd of his disciples was there and a great number of people from mm-hmm. all over Judea. Judea and Jerusalem, from the coastal t- uh, regions of Tyre and Sidon, who came to hear him and he healed of um uh, and to be hit of their diseases. Uh, those troubled by impure spirits were cured and people uh, uh, and, and the people oh. all tried to touch him because the power was coming from him and healing them all. all. I love it. That's the out. So you have the up relationship with the Father, then you have the in relationship with your disciples and then you have the out relationship as you do good uh, to a hurting world. And that's a pattern of Jesus. God, his boys, the world, God, his boys, I think the on, world. A, on a personal nature, maybe sometimes when we remove ourselves, is it was Jesus. Mm. So it's easy for you to remove yourself from the out to say, I'm not able to do this. Um, me, I claim it because I'm like, okay, fine. If this is the pattern, when I'm with you, it means I can go to people and diseases can be healed. Come on. I can be around, I can be in a space and and the power of God can be displayed in my life. Mm. And it's not for me, it's for the glory of God. And so I've come and I've said, okay, Father, I want my life to be patterned like yours. Yes. And so that means 
people will be healed in my presence. Mm. That means that there will be there'll be an impact in the spaces that I'm in because I'm patterning my life oh, like yours. On, on. And if in his word he says you will do greater things, things than, than me, this. then I'm like then let me why am I not seeing it Claim happening? It. Claim it. Wow. And so I, I love it because what it's saying is it's not just for the sacred few. I mean, it's easy for us to say, ah, Pastor Simon, Pastor M, you know, those are for them. <laughs> it's for Papa Kiloba now. I know Pastor yeah, Angel, yeah, yeah. Hey. But no, it's not for me. But I feel like when you recognize his blessing is for ordinary men and women, the, the 12 he chose were ordinary True. fishermen, mm. for goodness sake, a, a, a tax collector, a lawyer. They were ordinary men and men and women who later on also pattern, patterning their lives after this experience the impact of ministry. Wow. And so I'm praying that we will unlock, you know, within everyone of us who's doing this study, that pattern. Come that on. you will see it and see, may this pattern be unlocked mm. in my life. Wow. That as I spend time with you in prayer, you know, the one hour is nothing. I'll find, I'll become a walking prayer meeting. Come on, so And good. then um, I'll spend time with my my DG. The people God is asking me to spend time with pouring into me and those I want to pour into. Mm. But my life will be that one of impact. Wow. You know, whatever ministry that is. You know, like Quentin now has an audience to the world mm. just by recording this, that he's having impact in the city to say, and in the world, say, how can I be that type of person, a person it. of impact? I love it. Yeah. Yeah, and so if you want to see the things that Jesus did, then let's pattern our lives in the way that Jesus mm, patterned I love it. his life. I love it. Yeah. I love it. And so, of course, the stories will continue. Again, you, you will get some of the stories that you read in Matthew, mm. uh, that you read in Mark. Uh, Luke is going to be uh, sharing some of those stories. We see the faith of the centurion again being mentioned there. Uh, we see the just raising the widow's son. Um, uh, we see just, you know, uh, uh, connecting with John the Baptist who's going through a tough time mm. uh, at this point. Um, but I love what Jesus says. He says, you know, um, you know, so John the Baptist is in prison. He's wondering, you know, Jesus, will you, you know, um, are you able to remove me from here? Um, like, are you able to speak into my condition? But I love what, uh, what, what, I love what Jesus says. Um, he says this, he says, um, in verse 28, he says, I will tell you, among those born of women, there's no one greater than John. Mm. And, and <laughs> John thinks that Jesus has forgotten him, mm. but in Jesus' mind, ah, there lies a great man. Exactly. There lies a great man. Uh, and through the month of March, we are going through an amazing sermon exactly. series in Mabuno. I hope you get to catch that. Go back to the first sermon because that's what we talked about. Uh, look at our YouTube page. In fact, this same YouTube page and listen to that story. If not listen to it, I believe it's a, an amazing story of on how you're able to relate with God when you think he's behind the scenes for you. But even then, you're still at the forefront mm. of his mind. There lies a great man, you there say, of you. Yeah, and it. then the story continues. Uh, uh, again, just be, he's been anointed by a sinful woman who comes and anoints him. Uh, the parable of the sower again uh, in Luke chapter 8. Uh, but it's stories sort of, uh, we are going back to them, but I want you to read them with a fresh eye. I want God's word to be saturated in you. Uh, but the main thing that you're looking at this week is how can we pattern our lives uh, in the mold and the pattern that Jesus molded his own life. I love it. And, uh, yeah. I love it. So I'm, I, I want to take time and pray for someone and say, if whichever area that you need to work on, maybe it's in your app that you need to grow and say, you know, I want to grow in my prayer time. So you've mm. not been joining prayers, let's say at 4.30 a.m. Make a commitment to join prayer. If you've been joining prayer, tell God, I want to spend more time up this number and spend more time. The goal is the whole night in prayer. I love it. Travel in the presence of God. Mm. And then there's, um, there's spending time. If you're not in a discipleship group, if you're not connected, ask God to put you and place you. Talk to somebody in your church, in one of your Mabuno campuses and connect you into a small group. If you're, if you're in a DG group, ask God to open your eyes that you yourself will begin to see who has God put around you that you can begin to name? Mm. Name your Matthews. Come name on. your Peters and so say, good. I want to pour myself into this person. I want to be intentional about it. And I love what Jesus did. It is walking on the road. Mm. It was, you know, having dinner. Don't complicate uh, discipleship and make it another job. This is what your whole life is supposed to be. True. And then the out and say, God, may my life be full of impact. Mm. That, that in every space you have placed me, may I experience miracles, signs, and wonders because this is the promise this is the pattern you showed us this is the promise you gave us that our lives will do greater things than these and i pray that this will happen for you 
in the space that God has placed you in Come Jesus on. name. Amen, amen and amen. And so uh, as you head out into this week may the Lord bless you, may the Lord keep you, may the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious with you and give you peace and in all your dealings may he help you to shape your life in the pattern in the mold of Jesus. In Jesus name we do pray and believe and all of us said Amen. Amen and amen. This is a take out with me Kev the Rev and Pastor Angie. See you next week. Thank you.